You're watching Explore Tulsa. We're really providing Oklahoma an experience on Keystone Lake like they've never had before. I had a customer the other day come over to me and he said, I'm not blowing smoke, this is real. We just came from Walt Disney World and stayed in their RV park and your RV park is nicer. Your amenities are, are better than what we had there because of the brand new bathhouse and all the other things we've added. 2001, I learned that the uh, public sector was reaching to the private sector to try and partner on recreational lake development, which continues today. So I did the Sky 2 Cross Timbers project uh, and then private land development adjoining it. Uh, and then in 2013, we were approached to now come and do the same at Keystone. Keystone was viewed as being one of the more poorly developed major lakes in Oklahoma. So we accepted that invitation and came over here. The entire uh, lake, it's 23,000 acres. There was already a large ramp and campground that the Corps had originally put in uh, just down from us here. And so we just, uh, with the city's help, the city is actually our lease partner. So the city of Manford already had under lease the ramp and the camping area. And so this was added for us to build this new marina. The lake manager helped us develop the vision because he was so close to what the consumer demand was. So we set about first being the marina because uh, folks were definitely needing a better experience getting on the water. So we started with 130 slips, about the same number we started at in Sky Two. But here we have focused more on uh, more diversity. We've put a lot more into our restaurant. Uh, we put a lot more into the camping areas, uh, the airstreams, uh, service building. We're doing a lot more diversified things here. These skipper liners are amazing boats. We can, uh, per Coast Guard, we can take 64 out on the water. It'll hold more than that where it is right now, but we usually try and, and reserve it for groups of 25 to 50, just because it's more comfortable. You can sit upstairs very comfortably the way it's configured with a number of about 40 people, and then downstairs you can easily put 15 or 20 that are inside and sitting out on the decks. We really work hard to keep everything very clean, bathrooms very clean. Um, Travis would tell you that it's almost preached from day one, and he now preaches it to guys working for him. Clean, 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 mo, mo, mo. So when you see the bathhouse, you'll see there's not a bathhouse quite like it. The TVs aren't up yet, but literally we've got TVs that are going up in each one too. So I mean, we really work hard that people will, maybe from Missouri will go, wow, there's nothing like this in Missouri. That's what we want. We've been amazed how popular this restaurant is because we have garage doors down below that you can open up. And so if the weather is decent, you've got the whole open air downstairs and then it's literally open air always upstairs. So it's really been neat. The vision there was through a, an architect that we use and uh, he suggested that it's gonna be pricey, but make your roof flat and let's turn that into an incredible experience because of the view from that roof. We have live bands every Saturday night, and our sales have been incredible because people now are coming back, and then some of these bands have followings and all, and so we will have a real challenge for our relatively small kitchen to keep up just because the demand is, is so great. But um, a lot of people drive up, go enjoy the restaurant, or drive up on a Saturday evening and enjoy the band all evening, and don't leave till midnight when we close. To now have two places on two of the three major lakes around the Tulsa area that we have people come here all the time that say, this is nicer than anything we've seen anywhere in the U.S. I'm happy for Tulsans that we've been able to do this uh, because along with places like the Gathering Place, it's another reason you want to live in, live in Tulsa.